We are here at the Municipal Stadium in Port Vila, Vanuatu uh, for the bronze medal playoff uh, in the 10th Pacific Minigames women's competition as uh, it's on um, the two sides uh, of uh, Tonga and uh, the uh, Solomon Islands that will be playing against each other this afternoon 12 p.m. Uh, here in Port Vila, Vanuatu, the local time. So uh, it's the third and fourth uh, place teams uh, out of uh, the uh, the four teams that uh, are taking part in uh, this uh, Pacific Minigames Women's Competition for 2017, only four teams remember, and they played once against each other, and finally they're here playing uh, for uh, that uh, bronze medal, the Tonga versus the Solomon Islands side. The Solomons, remember, have not won even a single match so far out of the three that they have played and they have a lot to offer a lot to prove out of this all important bronze medal playoff while the Tonga side had an impressive outing in this 2017 women's competition the reason being they came out of the first game five nil loss and here they are and then in the second match they and the table against this particular Solomon Island side uh, by three goals to one uh, and uh, they lost to the Fiji side by uh, no it's uh, the Tongan side in the first match and uh, yes against Vanuatu they drew 2-2 two -two. so that's the situation for the Tonga side they drew the match against Vanuatu 2-2 two -two. they lost uh, they won against Solomons by 3-1 and uh, they lost to Fiji in the first match by five goals to nil as here we have the national anthem coming in now for the Thomas side. So that's the national anthem for uh, Tonga as uh, they're all geared for a bronze medal here this afternoon and in their path in the Solomon Islands uh, as we will watch them uh, sing their national anthem now. So the Solomon Islands are also all geared here for uh, this uh, bronze medal playoff uh, and uh, they will be aiming for that uh, bronze uh, to finish third in this 10th Pacific Minigames women's competition so that uh, they uh, have uh, some respect and credibility taken back with the team because in their game one the Solomon Islands they lost to Vanuatu by five goals to nil in their second match they lost to the Tonga side by three goals to one and they are playing against each other here again for the bronze medal while in their third match uh, against Fiji the uh, Solomons they lost by two goals to nil and as we said about Tonga 
in their first match they lost by five goals to nil to fiji but they bounced back in a grand way and defeated solomon islands by three goals to one and in that particular decisive match just uh, two nights ago uh, it was the vanuatu and tonga side um, drawing that match uh, to a to all so the two sides already in the field of play and getting ready in their hurdle before we have the match getting underway here the match referee for this afternoon is from vanuatu robinson banga and he will be assisted by the fellow vanuatu side the vanuatu assistant referee of mahi chilia and jeremy garai while the fourth official uh, the reserve referee, if you like, is David Yariboinen from Papua New Guinea. We look at uh, the two lineups here. The Solomon Islands, uh, they have come in with uh, a squad that uh, has been quite regular, except for uh, Crystal Bacolo, who has been relegated to the bench, and this is the 11 that they are playing with. Betty Sade is the goalkeeper. They have got Kalin Safiwa, Elsie Kwa Etolo, and Janisa Onika, along with Edith Nari, a 14 year old um, for the Solomon Islanders uh, playing in this side. 14 year old. Uh, she is not a student. I was just about to say a 14 year old student. Uh, what I have been told is she stays home. So this 14 year old Edith Nari uh, had a grand time and exposure in this 10th Pacific mini games, uh, We also have uh, Rose Paia, Eileen Peggy, the player to watch for the Solomon Islands, 23 years old from Kolale Club, Marina Joe, uh, just an year 10 student at Panatina High School, uh, and they have got Agnes Noisy, year 11, Panatina Community High, sc high School student, with Rosie Sambiru, who is an year 10 student at uh, Mokonavira Community High School, uh, along with uh, Muriel Gua, as uh, the uh, 11 for the Solomon Islands. And uh, for the Tonga side, a strong lineup they have come in with. They have uh, Tangi Mosia Ma'afu, their number one uh, goalkeeper, uh, Liki Liki, is out injured from the competition. And uh, we are all set to go here with the offer a lot of La Akulu who just completed year 13 last year at the Queen Salote College back in Tonga. That is uh, the most impressive player that I have seen in the women's competition as a defender. Number three that you will get to see later on on your screen of Aloto Laakulu. And they also have the 17-year-old year 10 student from Top Tupo High School, Saini Lutu, who has been very, very instrumental on the left midfield for the Tonga side. Another player to watch here is Wendy Feke, 23-year-old, who works for BSP, big in Tonga. They got their captain of uh, Penateti Feke, 32 years old, and works for uh, Tonga Football Association women's uh, football competition. She's the competition's manager there. And also Melisini Tufu, Tufui, Melisini Tufui, 17 years of age, year 12 student at Queen Salote College. So we are on the way there with uh, Saini Lutu. It has just started the match. And the Tongans, their target here is a bronze medal. They don't want to return without the bronze medal. They were aiming for a gold medal playoff. They lost to Fiji, uh, to Vanuatu rather. Not really lost, they drew that one, 2-2. Two, two. They were winning by 2-0. And uh, it was the Vanuatu side coming back with a Korean fight back and drawing that match. And it will be interesting to find out if uh, Monica Mentivier will be back playing in that uh, bronze, uh, the gold medal playoff tonight or not because she was stretched off the field early in that match against the Tonga side. But here we are at Municipal Stadium, and this is the bronze medal playoff between uh, the uh, Solomon Islands and Tonga. This is of Aloto. This is the player we have been talking about, 22 years of age, playing the through ball there, cleared away with the Solomon's defense. Edith Nari, the young star, only 14 years of age. 
Sini Lutu. Ofa Aloto. And they play neat football there. Wonderful passes between the red jerseys. Adailin Peggy, number 11. And Rose Pai, they combine well in the midfield. And the uh, Tongans win it back though. Look at uh, the uh, Solomon Islanders just crowding that uh, midfield area. It is a Tongan code coming on your screen there of uh, Tiaine Kowaneti. Doing quite well with uh, this uh, Tonga women's side. And as we went through, uh, they won one match in the round robin. They lost one, they lost to Fiji 5 0. They won against Solomon Islands. The same Solomon Islands by 3 1. And uh, they drew with the Vanuatu side by 2 2. So that's uh, how they performed in the uh, qualifying, the round robin competition. Three matches that they had to play out of the four. And uh, in comparison, the uh, Solomons, they did not win or draw a single match. So the odds against the Solomon Island side, the women's team here, they lost the first one to Vanuatu 5-0, second one to this Tonga side by 3-1, and the last one that they played was against Fiji, and they lost that one by two goals to them. But that is where they have to come in with something special in this particular match. Get the result that the Solomons are waiting back home as Ofa Aloto has gone way back just outside the box. And there she is, enjoying the ball possession to her toes and flicking it away to the midfielders. But they failed to keep possession. And Salmans also failed to do the same. The Tonga come back with a throw in there. we've seen is the Solomons are very much uh, just uh, camping in the midfield and the central defensive area trying to uh, cancel or uh, close down any of the space for the Tongans who are playing wonderful neat passes at times when they have uh, ball to their toes and uh, we have seen that already in this match for the first uh, six seven minutes Safiwa came with the throw in. Here is Eileen Peggy, 23 years of age, playing for Kualale Football Club in the women's competition in Solomon Islands. Coming across near the Tonga side. And this time they don't have anybody up front to penetrate in that four men, uh, the uh, four player defense for the, the uh, Solomon women's side in the women's competition in the uh, 10 the Pacific mini games here in Port Vila. We have the uh, gold medal playoff, remember, tonight coming up at 7 p.m. local time. And that's uh, one or two, the host versus PG. But here at Municipal Stadium, we are watching the uh, Solomon Islands versus Tonga bronze medal playoff. Kalin Safiwa again responsible for this throwing just away from her own corner flag and that bounce a bit uh, awkward for Saini Lutu the Solomon Islands doing well there just uh, gaining more possession and territory coming near somewhere around the uh, Solomon's the Tonga half rather and they do well from that uh, ball possession what can they create from this situation? Here they come into the box now. There's a chance they have the numbers there too. But then uh, Muriel Giwa could not quite utilize that one. However, they have managed to keep the pressure on the Tonga side. As going across is uh, Marina Joe to uh, deliver that corner kick. What can they make out from this corner kick? The first in this match.
have two players there, Marunia Cho, number 11. And she decides to come in with a short one for Eileen Peggy, just like their men's team does, short passes from the corner kicks, and then they move in from there. And the final delivery was not that promising and not as they planned to execute. Seeing Lutu for Tonga from that left hand side. And Farping, look at the clearance that came in from uh, uh, Rosie Sambiru. He just thought of uh, putting it outside. That there's no problems whatsoever for the defense. Rosie Sambiru, just an year 10 student at Mokonovira Community High School. So we have a number of those young stars in this uh, Solomon Islands. Edith Nari is one who's just 14 years of age. Marina Joe is just an year 10 student. Agnes Noisy is year 11. And Rosie Sambiro is year 10. So these are some of the examples of uh, how young this Solomon Islands women's side is into uh, this competition. And uh, according to their team management, their target is the 2023 Pacific Games back in the Solomon Islands. That is how it is scheduled, 2023, likely to be held in the Solomon Islands. And they are preparing for that one, this Solomon Islands side, and working with these young stars, uh, with, uh, an, uh, with uh, some of uh, the uh, experienced players around too. As uh, we have uh, many of them below the age of 20. Well, there are a number of them too, just around 20. So a long, long way to go. And uh, one of uh, the instrumental players that will come off the bench is number seven, Crystal Bacolo, who is a Solomon Islands uh, National University student doing light motor mechanic pose and at the same time is a just play coordinator with um, the uh, Solomon Islands Football Association. Kalin Safiwa and just covering the space there and uh, getting that back for Tonga is off Oloto. Who has been one of those uh, very, very important team members for this Tonga side in their campaign uh, for this bronze medal here. Lauren comes in. A small crowd here at um, the uh, Municipal Stadium. To witness the two sides. Here's a chance for the Solomon Islands. Uh, how that bounce uh, was unlucky. That time for uh, Marina Joe. It just went away from her. Probably if you get the replay there, you'll see how lucky Tonga were to get that bounce coming away from Marina Cho, who was right in front of uh, the uh, Tonga net. Ted is coming in, look at that one. Marina Cho, if she was able to chest it down, she could have blasted the home. It was one of uh, those uh, close chances for the Solomon Island side. It's a free kick coming in of a lot of things. A huge one into the box. It is still there for contention. Good clearance coming in from the defense. play short passes from the defensive area. Wonderful to watch the Tonga side they're playing the neat passes. Look at this flipping ball coming in as they chase for it there and almost breaking through was the captain of Penateti Feke. There she is, number 10, as the Solomon Islands defenders they stood watching and delaying in clearance. Penateti Feke making that uh, penetrative run She 
to come in with the corner kick. Has given the signal of what to expect in the box. And that is well controlled there by Rose Pa'ia. Going back, the Tonga side. Watch them play the short passes. There is a 10. It is a petty Malekamu. Go to the left hand side. Oh, flicking pass coming in for Saini Lutu. Saini. That's a huge delivery into the box. And good defense by Merigan Cho. Solomon save all the uh, players back in their own half. And uh, goes down the space and the angle for the Tongans as Mele Kafa comes in. The pass and a missed time pass. The Solomon Tonga duel there. For Reni Siale and uh, Mele Akolo who is uh, 17 years of age, year 12 at Tupou High School. And going back, out of play, throw in. Will be the Tongans keeping possession from this throw in. That's the uh, Tonga head coach, Tiane Koaneti. Again, Tonga setting it up for four of our lot. Take it across field. This is of our lot. That's a wonderful pass there, but um, doing well is the Solomon's defense of Rosie Sambiru, the year 10 student at uh, Mokonavira Community High School. Side is Muriel Gua. The upside kick is yes, Muriel Gua. Muriel Gua. <coughs> Coming back to deliver will be Fololeni Siale. He has been behind all those set pieces. Most of the free kicks is uh, taken by this player here. And that's a huge one cleared away by Elsie for a tolo. And uh, this time uh, trying to uh, chase for that one was uh, Muriel Gua. Tonga with a quick throw in. The Solomons have put a good fight so far. Unlike uh, the uh, previous three matches that they have played in this competition, losing all three, and also to uh, Tonga by 3-1. And uh, here this afternoon, they are doing well, better than uh, what we have seen in the uh, previous uh, three matches. There is Alien Peggy and looking for Agnes Noisy, number 13. But a bit slow on that occasion as uh, the Tonga defense well organized and just putting it outside. That is Agnes Noisy with the throwing for the Solomon Islands. We'll be very happy and relieved if they are able to uh, win this bronze medal because they have not won a single match. And again, uh, the uh, intensity of the competition, what many have been uh, talking about, four teams only, and uh, they are lucky losing all the matches, the Solomon Islands are coming back to uh, play in the bronze medal. And uh, after losing the three matches, they get the chance again here to win this one and be third placed overall in the competition. 
that's how interesting the uh, overall competition is. The reason being only four teams taking part there in the women's competition. So the four teams, uh, Solomon Islands, Tonga, Vanuatu and Fiji, they played uh, one match each against each other. And at the end, it's Vanuatu and Fiji that have gone up to uh, play the gold medal playoff uh, tonight and uh, the Solomons right at the bottom with no wins is playing against Tonga who is third placed after those three matches the referee didn't pick that one the uh, spikes coming up from the top and uh, probably not in a position to pick that one as here is Tonga again Mele Kafa that's a huge cross Dropping down for Saini Lutu. Looking for the bounce and controlling there. The Solomons, the cry and crowd around her. And Ofa Aloto comes in the picture there. Beautiful 10 from her. But Eileen Peggy does a good job there to win back possession for the Solomon Islands when the Tongans were applying pressure on their defense. And uh, caught offside is the uh, Solomons player there. It will be an offside kick to the Tonga side of Aloto La Akulu. Mele Swakai for Saini Lutu with the uh, Solomon defense of Rosie Sanbiru has decided to put it outside. And Tonga continue from there with possession. Throw in, not really able to utilize that one. So Solomons will come back. As here is the Tongans coming in. And the goalkeeper, Betty Sade. Very quiet in this match, Betty Sade, not having much to do. And uh, that uh, is cleared by Betty Sade. Again, delivering into the box area, but uh, well covered by the Solomons. And that comes outside. The Solomons, no, it will be the Tongans. They will have possession just uh, around five meters inside their half. Played across of Aloto. Further across. The passes there. This when the fake. This is off a lot of. And this is Penateti Feke. The eldest of the uh, three siblings they have here. The Feke siblings. Penateti Feke, the captain, 32 years old. And they have got uh, Wendy Feke, 23 years of age works at PSP in Tonga and they have got uh, the youngest of the Feke who is uh, uh, not really the youngest Basi Feke is the middle or in the uh, three siblings and she works at the National Bank in Tonga so the three siblings the Feke siblings there the eldest is 32 Penateti the captain for the side and uh, she is the uh, Tonga Football Association Women's Competitions Manager. And uh, then they have uh, the next uh, Feke sibling of Vasi.